Hi, this is Nerdily, and today we are playing Minecraft. So, okay, let's get started. Let's do New World Creative Mode. I'm going to create a new world. I'm going to call it Nerdily. There you go. I want creative. Creative is more fun. To me, personally. I like creative. So, in this video, I'm going to try to make a house, a really cool house, and I'm just going to do, just going to mess around, maybe, maybe make a farm, so, yeah, and I'll tell you every, um, what I'm using and stuff. This is my character, hold on, I'm Starfire from Team Titans. Whoa, I got put on this tiny little island. Should I make like an island beach house? <gasps> Look at that. I'll name you Steve, okay? Hi Steve, you are now my bat pet. <clears throat> Cow, Dave. Hi Dave. Okay. I think there's a cave. Ooh, some lava. Okay. So I am going to make an island house. So I'm going to need some island materials. Wood, I would say like regular oak planks, which is the original wood, regular oak wood. So I shouldn't, I'm going to make it right here. So first I'm going to clear a path. There you go. Now we can hear it. Put grass just in case. Oops. Okay. So let's start. By building a frame. And I usually stop at edges because what's the point on math? <laughs> My favorite thing to build in creative is hotels. I love making hotels, it's really fun. Or villages. You know, just like my own village. I don't really extend this. There we go. Music is always so sad. Well, to me, yeah. I don't really. It's always so sad. I'm supposed to be about venturing. And I also like that you, you can fly in this in creative mode, so it's really useful. I guess you can call this video the tutorial of building a beach house. So start with a good frame and whatever material you need. So preferably it would be a square or a rectangle. So then you don't want it too high. I usually count up three. And then if it needs more I usually add maybe one or two more. I can't get up here. There we go. On my island, I'm also going to add tropical fish, a pond, and you know, some really tropical stuff to make it look like an island. Minecraft is also like very calming, like just calms you sometimes. Just building something. Okay. Okay, 
so I have a good good height let's see it might look pretty good just just at this height yeah I like this height and if you don't think this looks like a beach house I'm sorry but it's my preparation of a beach house there's another island up there too And once you build the wall, it's kind of here. Okay, I have an idea. Now that I just ruined everything. We are going to put, we're going to make this a different color. Because you know beach houses have like a lot of different wood. So we're going to put a different wood, a darker, darker wood up here. Sorry if I just ruined everything. Okay, we are going to do, I want to go with jungle plank. You can use any wood, but usually you can use like a darker wood on the top. So any would do. And then on top of this, we're going to make a pony top because I mean, you can have any top you want, but for my beach house, I'm going to have like a pointy little top. You know, like that little hut formation. Oops. There you go. Yeah, it gets really dark, so as soon as I get it up, I'll put torches in there because torches would make more sense on our island. And that's the most, you know, like lighting you can have in Minecraft. Oops, wrong button. I'm just pushing all the wrong buttons, okay. following along with me, we're going to start by making it like this. If you've ever seen a village hut, it's kind of what that's going to look like, but more pointy and longer, because we have a longer house than a village, villager. You could also think of this like a pyramid, we're making a pyramid one step, they get bigger every time. We started with that, like that, and then on this time, we're going to go up two. So now it's up two. This one takes a little bit more. 
are because you can only place three um, tops high blocks at the time. If you want, you can go like inside like this and just place them all. some little windows to see out of. So we're going to make this our least most realistic beach house. So we, we can't have glass on a, on a beach house who like a deserted highland beach house. So we're just going to have, we're just going to hit it like that and there we go. So let's see. We're going to review all the steps if you haven't got it because I know I'm a bit confusing. 
But we first we made the frame, we built up walls, and then on top of the roof we did a different color and we just step it up like a pyramid. And then we put some torches in here. And yes, that would be really bad if there was wood, but it's okay. And then we made a door and then we made some little holes as our windows. So next, we would need to make a bed, something to sleep on. So if we go over here to, forget what beds are, I think it's in here, yeah, okay. So we're gonna get a bed. We don't really have colored beds, uh, unless you shaped a sheep, which we're just going to make a white bed, and we're gonna put it right there. And if you wanted, you can have double beds. But I'm just going to make one bed. Okay. And as you would, you would have a chest and you would have a crafting table. I'm going to put that there and that there. See, it's starting to look more like a deserted island house as so as we go through. And I'm not sure how you would make a furnace, but we were going to make a furnace. <laughs> We are not going to put flooring in because you might not have flooring or it just might be grass. So we are going to put this oven thing right there. And then if you want, you don't have to do this, but if you wanted, you can switch the color of the grass to make it kind of like that type. You know, so I'm gonna change my flooring because it is technically a grass. So I'm going to change it. There you go. It's called a grass path. So if you're following along, I'll tell you everything that you need and how I'm building it. You can always build yours differently. I'm just showing you how I would make mine. In case you want to make it safe. Oh yeah, I love my I prefer to be go out here and place the door. Oops, yeah, right here. Ah. I wonder if it's not working. Okay, I'm just going to put that right there. There we go. You don't have to remove anything you placed already placed in there because you won't really see the extra grass. So if you already placed the oven, you don't have to remove it if you don't want to and put grass there. Again, if you are following your line, I know I keep saying this. So we were at, now we're on that this step to placing brass flooring. All right. So now that we finished the flooring to look more like like it would be in a beach hut, we could also we could have also used sand. I think would have worked good. Now, if you want. You could also decorate it and put spider webs to make it look, you know, like kind of deserted, you know. I think I'm going to just put those four. Okay. And I'm also going to decorate next. I am going to decorate the outside 
with these little leaves. I'm using oak leaves. So after the grass step, you can add spider webs to your inside house to make it look more like deserted. And then, next step, you can add these oak leaves to look more like it's, you know, covered up. You don't have to cover up the whole house, just, you know, like different places, spots, all around. stuff and decoration. Okay. So after I added the leaves, we are now going to... Hmm, what else do we... Oh, fire! Of course. If you want a fire, you can make a fire. You can put it anywhere you want. You can even put it in your house. And if you do want to put it in your house, I'll put it both ways. And a spider suit. Okay. So you'd want to see where the fire smoke is going. Okay. So you can. Oops build that a hole for it for the smoke to come out A while. There we go. Okay, so you can make the you can make the um the fire inside your house. You just have to make a little hole for the smoke to come out because it looks kind of cool, like a chimney, when you step out. Okay, and then if you want, you can place a little campfire scene, which is our next step. So let's you trace if you need me to catch up after you build the grass flooring, spider webs, decorate your house with spider webs then oak leaves around the house to make it look kind of, you know, deserted. And then you can put fire in there. And now, we are on to our next step, which would be to decorate. Um, decorate for a campsite. So I'm clearing all the weeds out for a place. I just need to... Okay. So we're going to cl clear the land out of the weeds. You can use this on sand or grass. I'm going to use this on grass. You can even fill it in the grass parts to make it look a little nicer. Okay. We're going to put chairs, a campfire, and just some fun stuff. Okay, so place the campfire here. Okay. Now I'm going to add some chairs. Which chairs a lot in this game are steps. So we're going to add some step chairs, which is basically um, steps, but you can turn them into chairs. So you need, I'm using spruce stairs, and so when you do like that, they look like chairs. There we go. 
So if you want to do it like me, I put, there you go. If you want to have it equal like this, you can have one chair or thing. So you have one chair on each side. And then I'm going to put tiki torches, not tiki torches, but regular torches. And I'm going to put it around just because. So I'm just going to put a couple back here. I'm going to try to make it look even. Oops. There we go. Okay, so we have some torches back here. So now we have made a campsite, a little campfire thing. Alright, so now you can even make a little mining place where you can set to mine. So right down here we have yeah some we have a lot of monsters that make fire. I just fell in the lava. Oops, yeah. There. So we're gonna make a little a little mining area so you can just go down there and mine whenever you want. So I am going to box If there's another sp um, space that you don't want to go to, you can just box it up with whatever you have. There you go. It's like, like it's never existed. And you can only have to go a certain way, so little mining could be a hard for being one. It's basically just something underground. You know, like just something underground that you can get to for some resources. Even though this is creative. Okay, next we put a bunch of Next we put just a bunch of tiki torches, torches and just put them anywhere so that way you can see. I think that this is the place I blocked off. that we have down here you can just go down here and if you want we can make a ladder real quick and then I'll wrap up for the video I'll review and then wrap up so we could take a grass 
and just go up down. There we go. So now we have a, you can go down here, there you go. So you can come up and down as you please down to your area. Okay, I feel like this is a good place to leave off. And in the next video, I'll show you how to make a tropical pond in a farm. Um, subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video. We appreciate your support. Bye.